Hi everyone, welcome back to Flavor Fridays. My name is Emma and today I'm going to make jajangmyeon or Korean black bean noodles. If you like our videos, then make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit your notification button. or jajangmyeon is a popular restaurant food um, and home food as well. It's essentially cooked wheat noodles served with this delicious black bean sauce on top. For the vegetables, you can use anything you like, but traditionally, it's very simple. It's half an onion, half a courgette, some white cabbage, garlic, ginger, and a little bit of julienne cucumber on the very top for a little bit of freshness and a bit of crunch. And now the last thing I'm going to chop, now that I've done all of my vegetables, are the pork belly slices. So I'm using pork belly today. Any fatty piece of pork works here because you want some of that pork fat to flavor the vegetables. So I'm just going to season this very quickly with some salt and sugar. Not too much salt because the black bean sauce that you're using later on is quite salty. If you don't want to use pork in this dish, you can also just take it out and make it vegetarian. Easy, still very delicious. And now that's all the prep for our black bean noodle done. So jajangmyeon is really a Korean dish with a Chinese influence. That's why we're using a wok to cook this dish because we're working with that high heat. And we're also using a Korean black bean paste. Now, to get the maximum flavor out of your black bean paste, the trick is really to fry it off in the very beginning before you make your sauce. While the wok is heating up, I'm going to add a little swig of vegetable oil all around the sides. And while it's heating up, so with a cold wok, I'll add my pork belly slices in to slowly render that fat out from the pork. So now that I've rendered quite a bit of fat from my pork, now you're not looking to fully cook your pork because it's going to continue to cook while the sauce simmers away. What I will do now is I'll remove the pork belly pieces into another bowl. And now on a slightly lower medium heat, I'm going to fry off my black bean paste. Now while I'm frying this black bean paste, it doesn't actually absorb any of the oil that I've added into the wok. It stays quite separate. So after a few minutes of frying off that black bean paste, you're going to really start smelling that smokiness and the saltiness from the black bean. At that point, you know it's ready. Now I know this looks crazy, but trust me, it is absolutely delicious. Just like many Chinese dishes with black bean, it is salty and smoky, um, and maybe something that you haven't had before. I've given my wok a quick wash, and I'm going to fry off my vegetables. Um, you don't need to fry them off for very long because you still want a little bit of texture. I've got a bit of color on my onions. I'll add my cabbage and my courgettes. Notice how I didn't add my ginger and my garlic just yet. I'm going to add that in for the very end just for a quick fry because if I add it in that first, it might burn by this point. You want to fry your vegetables for maybe three to five minutes or until they're a little bit softened. Now my vegetables are a little bit more soft. I'm going to push them to the back a little bit, make a little bit of room for my garlic and my ginger. Add my pork back into my black bean sauce. Give everything a nice mix. Now I can add my black bean paste back into the wok. Add a splash of water to make more of a sauce. Give everything a nice mix. I'm going to add a bit of sugar, just normal white caster sugar, because black bean paste tends to be a little bit salty. So a generous pinch of sugar to balance out the saltiness. And then I'm going to cover with a lid and just let it slightly reduce for around five to 10 minutes. Now, I found the specific type of noodles for Korean jajangmyeon, but you can also just use any type of thicker wheat noodle that you find of any variety. So while the noodles are boiling, I'm going to thicken up the sauce with a bit of a cornstarch slurry. So what I have here is I'm going to mix 
a small amount of cornstarch, you don't need very much, with a little bit of water to make a cornstarch slurry. Classic Chinese way to thicken a dish. Give it a little bit of a mix until the cornstarch is nice and mixed. I'll add it into the sauce. And while I'm at the end of the cooking, I'm also going to add a little bit of sesame oil. Korean food loves sesame oil. And then give that a nice mix. Mmm, so now my sauce is really nice and thick. I'm gonna turn the heat off and then we can plate up. And there is your jajangmyeon. The sauce is deep and smoky and sweet and that little bit of cucumber in the top is absolutely delicious as well. Now I know that in Korea, they often have this dish on what it's called Black Day. Um, and Black Day is a day to celebrate the singles in Korea. So I want to know what is an unofficial holiday in your country? And is there a specific dish that you have on those days? Um, I'm going to finish this bowl of noodles, but if you liked our videos, then make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and I'll see you next time on Flavor Fridays. Thank you.